All right, uh, Jarek and I were chatting about uh, learning Markdown, so we thought it would be good to record this call and give a quick five-minute tutorial on Markdown. Uh, so I've got the gitlab.com project open, and let's go and create a new issue. And in our uh, description here, we're going to use Markdown. So the idea behind Markdown is you have characters, and they're going to appear in a certain way. So for example, when you use a hashtag, this is a heading. And when I click on the preview here, you can see that it puts in a certain formatting. So I can say, you know, here is some copy after the heading. And it formats it kind of nicely. A pro tip here is you use one hashtag for your biggest header. There should usually only be one of these. You can use two for this is a subhead. Uh, more text here. And three, another sub point. More text here. And not only does it get formatted nicely, but in certain places like our handbook, uh, a, an outline will automatically be created where this will be nested under this, would be nested under this. Uh, so in a nutshell, that's headings. If you want to add a link, the syntax for adding a link is here is a link to the GitLab website. And this is really easy because you just add brackets around the term and then parentheses. And in parentheses, you add your URL. And then this syntax here will turn into a link. So when I click on that, I go to the uh, GitLab website. This is really easy to add links, really easy to add headings and subheadings, really easy to make a list. Here is a list uh, item, and this is an unordered list. You can see that it adds uh, bullet points for me there. Or you can even do an ordered list, and you can do one another thing here or you can even just do this 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 and what's cool about just using one number is markdown will uh figure it out for you and it'll auto number so now you can add bullet points you can add headings uh you can add links this is this will get you through most of the formatting a few other cool ones here are inside of an issue if you use uh, a dash and then put parentheses around it, this is a check off to do. And so you can see it'll add that as a to do in the issue. Potentially now uh, it's really thinking about it. So it'll add a little checkbox. And then when you check that, uh, I can't check it now because I haven't saved the issue, but um, it'll, add a, it'll add a checkbox and you can either check it like that or check it on the issue. Um, and that's kind of the basics. I don't know, Jarek, any other kind of quick markdown tips that you think we should add? Yeah, I'm sorry if you can hear the lawnmower in the background, uh, but if you want to learn more of different things you can do with markdown, you can go to the link right below where your cursor is right there, and you should find everything you need to know on how to create certain elements in markdown. It's loading a bit slow on my uh, computer. My computer is kind of chugging. I think I have too many things running. Um, but yes, this is the link where you can go to it's below every issue, and you can uh, click there and get a great markdown resource that uh, has a lot of info whenever it loads. Thanks a lot for uh, watching our uh, quick markdown tutorial. Cheers.